Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel with Big Fox News. A former Corning Painted Post teacher is throwing his name in the hat for the 23rd Congressional District. Rick Gallant will run as a Democrat against Republican Congressman Tom Reed. Gallant used to teach middle school and elementary school students at Corning Painted Post. Gallant also served on the New York State United Teachers Boards of Directors. Well, the long holiday weekend kicks off tonight with the opening of Glass Fest in Corning. The ribbon was cut this evening for the celebration of the city's glass making heritage. Crews spent all day setting up in the Gaffer District in anticipation of around 10,000 people for the eighth annual event. This weekend, visitors will get to enjoy glass making demonstrations, exhibits and artwork, wine and craft beer tasting, and that's not all. We also have a new little feature that's popped up that's actually quite big. It's at 36 East Market Street and it is Fibrance, Corning Fibrance. It is beautiful and it is something that is going to show up best at night. People definitely want to figure where they can go and see it. Glass Fest continues tomorrow with outdoor hot glass demos in Centerway Square, wine and beer tasting beginning at 5, and Rock the Park with downbeat percussion and Best of the Eagles tribute. Eldridge Park in Elmira opens for the season tomorrow. There'll be a short ceremony at 5, followed by the annual Riderless Memorial Ride, which remembers dedicated volunteers who have passed away but who were instrumental in the redevelopment of Eldridge Park. All attractions will be open after that. And this weekend also kicks off the summer concert series, which features a different band every week on Saturday nights. This week's featured band will be the Fun Bus. They'll be playing classic rock from the 60s and 70s. And here's what else is happening at Eldridge Park this summer. Yeah, we'll have our annual fireworks show It'll be on Saturday, the 1st of July, which is a great event. It's a tremendous event, best uh, fireworks display, I think, in the region for sure. And uh, we're working in conjunction with the County Youth Bureau on a Family Fun Day, which is going to be July 22nd. And what's going to be neat about that is uh, Circus Dubois, which features a fellow by the name of Michael Dubois, a Horseheads native who now lives in New York City and has a two-person circus act. Eldridge Park is open Fridays from 5 to 9 and noon to 9 during July and August. Saturdays from noon to 9 and Sundays noon to 8. Well, great weather if you're a duck or a goose, maybe. We caught these birds swimming around enjoying themselves in what we'll call the foul weather near Eldridge Park. <laughs> Hopefully the rain gets out of here for all the holiday weekend events happening. Meteorologist Kim Walker is in next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tears forecast from Big Fox. Well, good evening, everyone. We received about half an inch of rain throughout the day. Tomorrow, we are going to see uh, some patchy fog starting off in the early morning hours, and then we're going to say cloudy. There could be a few lingering spotty showers across the area. A little bit more sunshine as we head into your Saturday, but we do have chances of isolated showers and then increasing rain chances for your Memorial Day weekend and uh, more widespread rain as we head toward a Memorial Day. But today, not too bad, despite the clouds cover and the rain temperatures warmed up to around 63 degrees in Elmira, 62 in Watkins Glen, also in Corning, a little bit cooler in Binghamton at 58 degrees. That low pressure system that's bringing all the rain across our area will continue to move to the northeast toward the Atlantic, but on the back side of it, we could see a few light uh, showers, just some lingering showers on the back side. Temperatures will be cooling down behind the system as well. Then we could see another system ride in over the weekend, and so we could see a few thunderstorms rumble over our area as we head toward the Memorial Day weekend. But here's a look at your forecast tonight. Temperatures drop down to around 54 degrees. It will be cloudy with a few spotty showers, light winds for tonight and also into tomorrow. Highs tomorrow will be around 68 degrees. Expect a few spotty showers. Not everyone's going to see it, but there's that chance for a shower or two across our region. Temperatures actually warm up but toward the weekend. 73 degrees on Saturday as a warm front lifts northward. A passing morning shower or two. And then I think we will 
will be left with partly sunny skies. Some scattered thunderstorms will return to the area by the end of the weekend. And then on Memorial Day, temperatures staying in the upper 70s. A few showers and thunderstorms could be possible. More rain possible on Tuesday. And then finally, drying out a bit. A little bit more sunshine on Wednesday. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler as the cold front comes through. 71 degrees for the afternoon high on Wednesday and then dropping down into the upper 60s on Thursday. But it looks like we have lots of rain chances mm -hmm. in the next five days. Not ideal. Memorial Day. Yeah, not not great. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Where, what's the day that there's going to be a chance to not have rain, maybe? Next week, I think, <laughs> yeah. So not for the holiday weekend no, at all. Okay, not what we want to hear. Thanks, Kim. A New Jersey police officer credited with rescuing three deer in the past year. He is now affectionately known as the Deer Whisperer. His latest rescue caught on camera. And you can see that cute baby deer trapped in the storm drain in Woodbridge. And of course, the officer quickly came to the rescue by jumping into the drain and rescuing it. He earned that title, Deer Whisperer. Yes. Thanks for joining us.